You are now listening to The Beat Basement, Season 7, Episode 1. The Beat Battle too, man. I definitely got to keep you know sharpening my sword. My boy going to have me defending this right here. So I, got to. I, I definitely look forward to defending that and, and honor. The you people want it. It's The Beat Basement, where you hear from your livest producers, all of them. And this is where it all goes down, where you hear the funky sounds. From the producers who's up and coming to the great ones, all of them. And I'm your host, Swish, and we going in. Everything going in. Now on this episode, we have, man, the first ever Knock Music House, the Beat Basement. For show. Sure. Champion, world champion, in the building. Yeah. This dude right here, I mean, he had some of the dopest beats. And his energy was off the chain. So, <laughs> hey, that. y'all give it up for my boy. Don't drop the beat, Lazare. Oh, yeah. Don't drop the beat, Lazare. Um, bro, I know that's tough for a lot of people. Some people say Lazaric, but it's Lazaric. Just want to let y'all know. Appreciate, appreciate you for having me, man. It's been a pleasure, for real, for real. Oh, no problem. No yeah, problem. Yeah. Thank you for coming and participating and being a part of this whole, you know what I'm saying? For sure, for sure, man. Definitely something fresh. Yeah. I haven't really seen nothing like this before. I'm glad to, you know, to be a part of it for sure. And definitely seeing a lot of love for it too. So definitely. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Y'all heard it. He definitely want to do it again. So he, that means I know y'all wondering why he has a championship bet on. Right. It's because this man is the champion. Uh-huh. This man beat everybody out in the best beat. Created live in front of the whole world. So um, let the listeners know, you know, how it all started. Um, let them know who you are for sure. and how you came up. For sure, for sure. Yeah, I'm, a, I'm originally from Chicago. Um, start with that. I'm from Chicago. Um, I started off, you know, just being around my cousins. You feel what I'm saying? Like, they was rapping. And I'm the... The little, the little homie out of the cousin, so I'm just, it's just something cute. You just on the scene. Just, yeah, just, just on the scene. A, yeah. I, I'm pretty good to be, well, you know how look, big cousins be. They oh, yeah. to give you a flower, so. Right, yeah, right. I was, I was, I was started off rapping with them, and, you know, that's what I was kind of starting off with, and then uh, stuff like that, and I'm I'm little, I'm like eight, nine, ten, whatever, like some somewhere around that age, and uh, I go look for beats, shop for beats, and it's like $20 for a beat. You know, I'm like Nine years old, that's a lot of money. <laughs> and right. I can't just act nobody nine years old. Like I ain't got no job or nothing like that. So I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna make my own beats. Like at was, nine years old. Yeah, I was like, I'm make, I was going on YouTube sound, University sound, is what you yeah, went to. YouTube, but like before they was like sound click. Mm. Like everybody here, they sound click busting and everything like that. So yeah, I used to just look at the people who was going crazy on there. Some of the beats I hear on the radio. Like, it got really serious. My dad ended up uh getting me uh a laptop and like a crack version of FL from this flea market. <laughs> 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 yeah, he ended up getting me a crack version of FL and, and uh yeah, and then from that point on, like I just really was like, okay, this one we're gonna do and I just I, I, I used to be a game here too. Like but after I ain't I ain't been playing the game since I got on to like making beats, so I used to just go crazy oh, at it. Wow. And then it was like So it overpowered. I, yeah your, your, the yeah. beats, your profession overpowered Playing the game. Yeah, like I was just like, man, I'm I'm about to just do that. It was fun for me. Like I, I didn't know too many people that did. Like it wasn't as kind of a, a thing like it was now. It was just kind of just new. I was like, yeah, I'm about to start doing this. And then it got to a point where I was making you know beats the beats in the room in my cri- in my crib, like by myself. Like the next thing I know everybody surrounded in my room, like and I'm 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 young, you feel what I'm saying? So I'm like, okay, this kind of cool. Like people like this. People like when I do this, like I got people freestyling all the time, people who don't even record music like giving me options and then like from that point on i was like all right like i still like to the rap so was your big cousins at this point like dang yeah right, yeah fire. we didn't let them we didn't open up the yeah. door for like, talking about, but he snuck in here yeah. and he was around us so yeah now we got to kind of give him his props yeah we gotta come over that's, there. Exactly, yeah. that's exactly what that happened but i didn't realize i was just so locked in i'm just like man like at first i want like this yeah so yeah i just started realizing the power of just producing and just I don't know. I feel like everybody's just kind of kinder to producers and things of that nature. So, <laughs> so yeah, I started doing that. Um, I created my own project. I like. I, I had some projects of my own too. Like I got. Uh, I like this. And then it just, I also realized, like, you know, I like being behind the scenes too. Like just as much as I probably like be in the camera or something like that. Like I also like being behind the scenes. Was you like so? 
Chicago. I mean, let's let's not skip <laughs> over that. You said you was from Chicago, so I know how rough yeah. it is in Chicago. Yeah. You know, got some family up there, but you know, uh-huh. I know how rough it is up there. And and did the music, you know, kind of keep you out of you know out definitely. of the streets? And, and, definitely. And, like you try to do the best you can because sometimes it's just at your front door. Yeah, a lot of times, right. but like I always like you feel me? Just me being from Chicago. I'm I'm gonna run into. Something stupid. just 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 yeah. something stupid, but I always right. that always kept like I feel like I kept my environment clean as I could as a person go. because I made music going on. They right. were also like right. making the beats. We finna have fun, type right. Like, right. You feel me? Now, granted, it was some hate. Right, it, it, it does. It's gonna be some hate. Um, but I just feel like I always just had like a positive mindset and things of that nature. But yeah, that, Chicago definitely. It's I love my city, but it can get crazy. Man. Yeah, it could definitely get crazy. Um, so what kind of beats did you did you start making like drill? Or, um, I mean, I know that's what Chicago and up north uh, New York is yeah. big on drill. It came, but it but came it, like it, maybe like a few years yeah, ago. Yeah, that, that ain't where I started off. Okay, um, okay. That was definitely I feel like that's when the light got shined on us because of Keith. Yeah, uh, right. Urban Dirt, like that's when the, the light got shined on us and whatnot. Right. But before that, I kind of I started making beats during the. Uh, Jeezy era. Okay. Okay. Um, the trap trap era. Yeah, the Jeezy the Jeezy era. When it first started. Um, yeah. Yeah. My uncle, uh my uncle Sharon, you know, free him. But uh my uncle Free Sharon, Unc. Yeah, free Unc. Unc. My uncle Sharon, fo, he uh man, he used to take me on these rides. He used to be driving around in his like big you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Big truck and sounds going stupid, going <laughs> over fast. He used to play. Yeah, some twi- some yeah, 15, bro. 20s in the back. That's, that's my sound. I feel yeah. like that's my origin. Like, I can feel that. I can feel that. <laughs> nah, because when you was cooking up, when you was making that beat, I could feel the energy. Yeah, like, bro. You know like, I just feel like I always want to take it back to, to when I was riding yeah, with him and shy. Yeah, it was yeah, the speakers that, boom. That's, that's literally how I, like, that's my origin of my sound. Like, granted, like I also think that me starting off young made me music has changed a lot in the last right. like ten years. Right. Like so, me could just hopping back in that bag and going to the the drill bag and yeah. where is that now? So, but yeah, that's where it started off. At. I feel like that's my foundation for sure. Like, yeah, I always tell people I like making them uh, them 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 when you when you when you yeah. in the car them, them head and also, bangers. Yeah, them head them, bangers, them. but also like just like lunch table beats. Like you yeah. remember when people used to be yeah. in the lunch table just yes. going crazy yes. and then with those forks and stuff. Yes. Like those are the I like best ones I like too. the gritty <laughs> rawness. Like yeah. I don't really and just kinda kinda simple, like not doing too much, but just giving up space for the artists to go crazy, but the beat just knocking. So yeah. I feel like that's like my forte. From cooking up at the lunch table <laughs> to, <laughs> to cooking up, you know, in the studio. For in sure, the for show. sure. Man. Definitely. Hey. That's dope. That's dope. Um, tell us uh, what what software do you use now? I know you said you had the crack version of yeah, FL. Yeah, I, I didn't went legit. Now, oh, now you legit. I didn't went legit. I didn't went legit. Now the went all the way legit. Man, now. I didn't went legit. I got. I'm talking about legit with all my plug ins. Legit with all my dogs. Like, well, the only dogs I've my main dog is FL FL Studio Studio Lose. baby. To this uh, day, but I integrated that with Machine now, so that. That was you saw me pressing the buttons and stuff like that. So instead of me clicking and you know clicking the yeah. eight away here, clicking eight away there, I'm just like I kind of do like three yeah. whole things at once. You like, you <laughs> yeah, I like what? I feel it. I feel okay. it. Okay. I can actually okay. feel it. So yeah. like that's the thing. Like from programming it and like right. pressing it in. Like yeah. so I I that's what that's the combination I'm using right now. And they go so good together. Like that, it's hey, it super does. perfect. <laughs> it, it did. It did. And then when you under the clock, like how you was, yeah. you know what I'm saying? You didn't have that much time to cook up. Yeah. Um, but you was fingering like like a motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you was typing or something. Yeah, bro. It's, it's, and it uh, like I didn't really. I had a better appreciation for it after the battle because I was just looking at myself like, man, if I was somebody in the crowd, I'd be looking like, man, this dude kind of going crazy. Yeah. Going, yeah. <laughs> and I don't really. You can't really see yourself outside of like outside of your body. So it was cool to like. Have that experience to see other people reactions from it. And you know what's crazy about that? You know, I know how you started off gaming. It yeah. kind of looked like you was playing a game, like really <laughs> into, you know what I mean? Like, it's crazy how it ties in together. It looked like you was playing a game as you was on the machine. Just, yeah, You know bro. what I'm saying? Just like trying to get, you know, trying to get it. Yeah, you know man, I mean? for sure, for sure. It, it's crazy because you actually don't didn't know where you stand as a producer, but now you should know that you stand up there with Yeah. Me. You know, your talent is out of the out of the building. You know what I'm saying? Out of the booth, you, man. you know what I'm saying? So definitely. Um what's happening now? What happened since you won? Man, since I've won, um, things have been crazy, man. 
I ain't gonna lie, things have been crazy. Like, I ain't never really had like a super viral moment like that. Like, I feel like this is kind of my biggest viral moment. Like, I had, uh, I posted a video. I posted the raw footage up. I had my uh, my girl recording in, in the um, in the stands, and I just posted it, edited it. You feel what I'm saying? And like two hours went by, and it had like ten views on TikTok. Uh, it had like more views on Instagram actually at the at the time. So the yeah, uh, Instagram had 10 views, and I'm uh, I got a text like late at night, like bro, like I'm just chilling, like I'm just uh right, whatever. Woo. I put it out there because I told myself I'm gonna just gear towards content more. Um, now that I'm out here, and now that I see how this is going, how this record for people, like I'm gonna, I'm gonna just really go out there because I'm like content is king. Content is king, and I'm just like I ain't really been too been in the camera as much lately, so I'm like I'm gonna just start back doing it. You feel what I'm saying? Especially being out here, so. Me starting that, and then I, I get a, a text like, "Man, your video getting some traction." Um, matter of fact, no, that's that's I got that text. Now also, my DM was flooded on Instagram, and they was like, "Uh, yeah, man, how much you try for beats? This, that, and the third." Like I'm just like abnormal. Like I'm thinking I'm getting hacked type type thing. Like, and they was like, "Yeah, that beat you put on TikTok." I'm like, TikTok. Like I got more. Of, I only got ten views on TikTok. <laughs> I, I got like. I didn't hear about I got, like a, I got like a thousand. I got like maybe yeah. a. Thousand likes on on Instagram, so I'm thinking that's what's really going. I go on TikTok, it's like fifteen thousand likes, it, like just the likes. Not saying the, the total views. When I seen it initially, it was like one fifty. This is like overnight. This was overnight. It was like in a day. So I was like, "What is going? What is like that?" Made me just look at everything different. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I was already happy that I won. I was already happy with the situation already. But even on Instagram, but for it to go for like that, I'm like, cool. Then it just kept going up. Like I think right now it's at close to eight hundred thousand, and I done went from like what four hundred followers to like ten thousand followers. Damn! And it's it's only been like a little over a week, so I'm just like, man, now that I got this, that's what I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna stick around whatever they want me to produce content for. That's what I'm gonna do. Just showcase myself. So it's definitely a, a trial and error, and I'm just trying to do right by what's in front of me. You feel what I'm saying? Because I feel like I've been preparing myself for so long, and I can get to finally showcase it. To you know, our audience, you feel what I'm saying? So, I'm appreciative for the beat battle to uh, feel like I, that wouldn't happen so soon without the beat battle, you feel what I'm saying? So, I definitely want to <laughs> shout out y'all. Confident, I feel a little pressure, I ain't gonna lie, I do feel a little pressure because it's like, all right, what you gonna do with this now? But it's also good pressure, you feel what I'm saying? Like, I right, you were kind of prepared for these moments, let's see what you got next, and you feel me, just be you, just rock out, just have fun. And so, that's what I'm doing right now. I'm just uh, shooting content, releasing music, collabing. Um, reaching out to my followers and my audience and my fans, seeing what they want from me and whatever they need, I'm just gonna provide it. You feel what I'm saying? There you go. Yeah, there you go. That's what's up, man. So who would you Who would you like to work with? Who would I like to work with as far as producers or like artists? Uh, both. Both. Um, producers. Let's see. Give me three producers, three artists. From the, from from ATL. Definitely ATL Jacob going super crazy right now. Definitely rock with him. Eventually, yay, because I'm from Chicago too, so that'll be just, <laughs> it's just a given with that. Got to. Um, yay, we're gonna have you on the show, and you gotta cook up with my boy. For sure, he's town. Yay. Drop his samples, drop his samples, just giving that soul back. You feel what I'm saying? But like Timbaland, bro, like he just be having some crazy drum, <laughs> some crazy drums and patterns. So, like, I just wonder how it ever be that I access to that for like a studio session to make my own thing. So, yeah, that, that's probably my three off the top of my head. Yeah, okay. Two legends and the uh, legend in the making right now. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. But as far as artists, man, Lil, Lil Baby was top of the list. Especially me being out in Atlanta. Like, Lil Baby was top of the list. Especially, like, in the comments, everybody saying, get this to Lil Baby soon. And, uh, so that's cool. Like, I feel like they kind of manifesting that to be. If that can, um, so the beat that you made, the beat that you won with. Yeah. It's the it's the, the one that um it's the one that I went viral for. Everybody is telling you to. Yeah, every, to look in the with. comments, everybody's saying, send it to Lil Baby or... Uh, Send it to Lil Baby or um, Kodak. Lil Baby, Kodak, we sending it to you. It's already in your emails. For sure, for sure. Check your emails. Check your, <laughs> check your IGs. Oh, bro. Check, your, yeah. check it all. Yeah, yeah, we coming oh, wow. for it. He coming for it. Dang. Don't drop the beat. Lazaric is coming for it. For sure, for sure. Yeah, but, yeah, and so Kodak, Lil Baby, and between, like, Dirk or her, for sure. This is the beat that won him the Knock Music House Beat Battle Championship of the World. It's the cook up. Time for the cook up.
deserve it cause I know he got my back A negative mind will never give you a positive life. Yeah, man. Changing your mind. Change the way you think. Change the way you see things. Be positive. Believe in yourself. Think that you can. Think positive. Be positive. Give off positive energy. Everything else will fall in place. You'll change your whole life. Be positive. That's my word, y'all. Blessings on blessings on blessings. Peace.